Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper back at you with another Max for Live video tutorial. Um, Cycling74 just put out a trio of beginner tutorials for Max for Live, and um, someone asked me to help them out with the device they were making in that tutorial. Cycling74's YouTube channel. Um, what they did was made a bit crusher essentially and it was mono and this person wanted it to be stereo so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the patch fairly quickly uh, the one that they built and then I'm going to show you um, how to make it stereo if you want to go check out their tutorial they explain things a lot more clearly than I usually do but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to make what they did quickly. And if you want to go check out uh, and get a better description of what's going on, then obviously, you know, the link will be below for you to check out their tutorial. Um, but my general purpose for right now is just going to be making their device stereo. And I'm going to do it two different ways. Um, so it should be fun and it shouldn't take too long. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have the Max for Live patcher window open, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete these comments, which is which really that's all that is. I'm going to pull this down, and I'm going to delete these audio lines for now, and I'm going to type in a degrade tilde object. So I'm going to hit N, and then just start typing degrade, and there it is. And it's going to it says signal quality reducer, and that's what we're looking to do with a bit crusher. So I'm going to take the audio out, and this is what they did. They just took the uh, the stereo audio and put it into this one input here, which makes it mono. Uh, and then I'm going to type in L, which if you type in L, it gives you the live um, devices or live objects. And I'm going to go with live gain, which is what we want. I'm going to come into Inspector, and I'm going to flip it horizontally. And I'm going to change the name to gain and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it oh, I don't want to link to strict name. I'm going to put it right here gain cool uh, everything else looks good I'm going to close out of there and then there's that for us um, the next thing I need to do is hit L and get a live dial in here and I'm going to duplicate that live dial by holding shift Oh, not shift, alt, excuse me, and dragging over, just like most other programs. This dial right here, I'm going to connect to the degrade sample rate ratio. And so, and it also says it wants to be a float integer, if you can see that on the little comment there. So if I bring this down and then come in here to the inspector, um, I'm going to include it in the project oh, presentation not the background excuse me I'm gonna come in and I'm going to write um, bit bit depth or sample rate excuse me and I wanna change this to float I want a unit style float and I want to enable initial and I'm gonna enable one and I also need to change the range from zero and just delete those two. Okay. Um, also, I can copy, paste, boom, close out of there. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. But anyway, now that we have the sample rate button down or dial, we're going to come into the second live dial and I'm going to include it in the presentation. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to call it bit depth. going to copy this, put it in the long name, and I'm going to change it from 0 to 24, and I'm going to enable an initial and turn it to 24. There we go, close out of there. Okay, and now I'm going to co connect that to the second box here, and I'm going to come out of the degrade into the gain. And I'm going to come out of it to here, and then out of the, the gain into the audio out. And this is essentially the device. Um, if I right click, add to presentation, 
and just bring this up real quick. I'm not going to do anything too fancy with the design for now. And if I hit save, and I just call it Bit Crush uh, Simple, and save it and then go to view patch inspector open in presentation and save it one more time and here we go I'm gonna close out of here and hopefully this is gonna work first thing I'm gonna do is shut this off and I'm just gonna play this this, this sample and um, if you have headphones or speakers you'll hear that this is a, a stereo sample So you can hear that there's um, different audio coming out of the left and the right there. But if I turn the bit crusher on, the one that they made in that video, unfortunately that's now mono. So uh, I can still hopefully um, crush the sample rate and the bit depth here and we'll get some cool effects, but it's going to be in mono. So that's pretty sweet, but uh, that's not really useful. And the question that someone sent me and the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is how do I make that stereo? And there's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, I'm going to do the first one, which I think would be the easiest and most logical. Um, but then I'm going to show you a second one, which is the way you, it probably should be done. Um, so what I'm going to do is highlight everything and bring it over. And then I'm going to click here and shift click. Oop, I, sorry. I'm going to highlight all of those, hold down Alt and drag over, and that's just going to uh, duplicate them. And then obviously I'm just going to delete the left line here and bring it into here. And I'm just going to bring this and bring it out. And now that's all you need to do. And if I go ahead and save that now, and I need to put them into pre presentation mode, obviously. Um, this is for the right, this is for the left. And if we go out now, maybe bring this over and make it look a little prettier, um, hit save, and now come out. Um, we can hear that stereo, and then when I turn it on, it should still be stereo. And you can even see it on the gain that there is, in fact, a left and a right going on. So there we go. But the thing is, is now I can control the left and the right channel um, sample rate differently and that might be what you want to do but I think for something like a bit crusher effect um, you're gonna wanna keep the stereo channel but affect le the left and the right the same way so the way we do that is we come back in um, and we keep everything but what we want to do is delete this and delete this bad boy and then kinda bring this over and then come out of here into here and out of here into here. And now, if we come into presentation mode and kind of switch it all back, um, we're still going to have the stereo audio, but we're going to affect the left and the right channels the same. So if I come out and I turn this off to hear the stereo, and now that it's on, you can still hear the stereo. So as you can see, the device is working now and it's in stereo. So I hope that answers the question I was asked and um, I hope you've kind of figured out um, how to start getting stereo from mono and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty simple, it's pretty sleek, and it's pretty cool. But anyway, that's the Degrader stereo style and we'll see you next time.